Welcome back to another mystical day in the wonderful worlds of Prodigy. I am One Doctor Genius, and in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to catch the hotspots in Prodigy. Now, you may be wondering, what is a hotspot? I haven't even heard about it. Well, here you go. A hotspot is a fire type pet, and basically, it's only found in one location in all of Prodigy. You cannot buy it from anyone. It's only found in the Bonfire Spire in one location, okay? Okay, guys, so now, in order to get the hotspot, what you have to do is, first of all, you have to head down over here. So let me just click down. Now, once you head down over here, what you need to do is you need to battle the monster over here and then head down over there. Do do do. Yanni? Okay, after one unnecessary battle, let's go battle this puck and then head down over here. So do 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 monster battle speed up version. <laughs> And now that we've finished that battle, what you want to do is you want to head down over here. Now we're heading down. Once you reach down over here, what you want to do is you want to battle this flame meek and then you want to head down over here. Now before you do now before you guys do that, there is a trick which you can use in order to get around the other pets which is lying over there. Okay, so now to cross the bridge, we have to make sure that we don't run into this Ashlet. So what you want to do is you want to click up to the very top and then you can sneak past the Ashlet like a ninja. Dun 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 dun, epic ninja sneakiness. I sneak past it. And now over here we encounter a wild ember. What you want to do is you want to battle the monster with spawns over here. And then you want to head up. In addition to that, in order to complete this, you need to make sure that you have yourself the boots of hot walk. If you don't have the boots of hot walk, you won't be able to do this quest. That's all you need, and then let's get straight to it. Time lapse mode activated! Time lapse! Okay, now after another battle, what you have to do is you have to head up over here. So just click over there and your wizard would walk to you over there. Now once you've done that, do you see this lava pool over here? Well, you need to cross the lava pool. Now once you cross the lava pool, you'll enter the garden gateway. Now we end up over here. Now if you guys look over here, all three monsters are embers. Now what we want is we want a hotspot to spawn. Now. What you need to do is you need to wait until a hotpot spawn. It basically looks like a stove and here's an image of it. So basically what you have to do is you have to keep on reloading until a hotspot spawns. And it spawns straight away so all you have to do is just log out, log back in, hit the reload button a couple of times. And it should spawn so it's quite easy actually. Just smack when you need that reload button. Ding! <laughs> 
Okay guys, so I only reloaded about 8 times and there you go, a hotspot spawned in. So that's about how many times you'll have to reload. And once you reload 8 times, what will happen is a hotpot will spawn in. Now it looks pretty cool, it looks like the stove on fire, it looks like the monster inside is not happy. But there you go, it spawns in straight away. So what you want to do is you want to engage the hotpot in a monster battle. Looks like these emberns just don't want to leave me alone. Now let's go into battle with Mr. Hot Pot and catch him. After the unnecessary Ember battle, we can now catch ourselves the Hot Pot. So let me just cast a water spell because I know that does more damage than general, so I should be able to catch it quicker. There we go, in one shot we've done 4450 damage, which is just below half of its health. So now what we can do is we can just smack a Rooney that rescue pets button, there we go. And let's click the yes button and answer this squishy one. Well, that was quite a simple question. I didn't even have to answer it, okay? So here we go, we're rescuing Mr. Hotspot from the evil clutches of the Puppet Master. Okay, looks like Mr. Hotpot has joined our team. And now, looks like we're facing a burn use which does 2000 damage, it's not too shabby. We can keep on using water spells since they are stronger, okay? Don't try putting volcanoes under me! Now that Mr. Burnout is defeated, his brother, Mr. Burnout 2.0, will come up and attack everyone! What? Well, that's some weak damage, cause all of my pets are water pets. So now, without a further ado, let's cast another water spell. After getting it right on my first try, let's answer the question. Here we go, questions answered correct, and let's do 3000 damage to Mr. Burnout, and now we defeated him! Okay, we're collecting our battle stars. Let's see if Alan can reach level 89. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so looks like we gained 15 member stars each. Let's open up that member chest and see what we get. Okay, 200 gold, 20 hot hots, 3 sand dollars. You know what? That's not too shabby. Those are some nice gifts. And now, let me just quickly head to a safe location so I don't end up in any more monster battles. Right, we head up over here. Now, let me tell you your info about the hot pots. Right, so over here we have it. And now, at level 75, the hot pot has 8,833 health. Now, if you head over to its info, now this pet can cast four different spells. It can cast Wall Cannon, Wildfire, Torrent, and Unlimited Power based on this, okay? Now, over here it says if you knock over a hot spot, it becomes like an overturned turtle and can't get up again. Interesting, that's different than I last saw it. Okay. So if you look over here, it's power to health ratio is okay. It looks like one fourth is power and three fourths is health, okay? So power to health ratio is good. Now, let's equip this pet and head into monster battle. Now, in order to test this pet, we're gonna do a monster battle in Shiverchill Mountain against a ice type pet, right? So over here, we have Mr. Ice Sneak. So let's just go into battle against him and see how Mr. Hot Pot does. Okay, level 75 versus level... 37. Now this pet can cast four different spells. It can cast Wall Cannon, Wildfire, Torrent, and Unlimited Power based on this, okay? So now we're fighting an Ice type pet, so let's use Wall Cannon. Well, this is a fairly easy question. And here we go, after answering a fairly easy question, looks like we cast our attack. Looks like Mr. Hotpot swipes his hand across. Wasn't the animation different? Like, okay, I can't, I think... Okay, I'm pretty sure that the animation used to be different. I'm pretty sure. Okie dokie, so we've just answered another question. Looks like we've just casted the spell Wall Cannon and done 2000 damage. So now, compared to its health, the ratio is at 1 fourth, okay? So the damage is 1 fourth of its health in general. So if you're using a fire type pet, this wouldn't be my first pick. But it's still a pretty good pet, so I'd recommend you use it if this is your only fire type pet. And as you guys know, Ember Shed is always better. It's like one of the best pets in Prodigy. And now looks like we've answered another question correct, and looks like we've gotten ourselves measurements rank two. And here we go, another swipe with our mighty claw. We guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you all did enjoy it and got your stats and info on the hotspot, and were able to catch it for yourselves. 
And if you did enjoy this video, I'd recommend hitting the subscribe button, because it turns out 83% of you guys aren't subscribed. That's mind-boggling, okay? So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, it only takes 2 seconds. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite part was, or if you were able to catch it, or what other monsters do you want me to catch. And this is one Dr. Genius clocking by. Catch you all next time!